And a warm welcome on a fine night for football here at the San Siro. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry and delighted to be joined as always by Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from Serie A. It's Milan up against Napoli. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Getting in there to take it away. Lobotka. Victor Ozimhen. An attacker like that in the initial phase of the game, attracting the interest of the referee. So we have an early booking here to report, Stuart. Yeah, and I think the referee's absolutely right. He's just making it clear to all the players out there, he's not going to take any messing about here. Zielinski, Simeone, well, couldn't quite find his teammate, not every team needs an effective and proficient leader of the line and Olivier Giroud falls in that category, Stuart, what should we look forward to seeing from him today? Well the game plan of the coach is to get the ball into the front players as quickly as possible. Oh wait he... Stuart, they might score! Well the keeper had a lot of ground to cover, splendid save. Delivering it. And did his job defensively. Diaz. He's trying to create something. Onguisa. Now with Lobotka. Lobotka. Zielinski. Well, they must exercise caution standing off as they are. This looks more than decent. Oh, dealt with by the goalkeeper. Short corner taken. Sends it back. Simeone. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. Victor Ozimhen. Save, but still a chance. Well, he stumped it out of there without much fuss. Zielinski. Has a go. In it goes! The goal for 1-0, and that changes the dynamic. Well, let's have another look, because this is a goal they have thoroughly deserved. They've played really well so far. So underway once more, advantage Napoli here. Oh, he's given the ball away. Alexis Salamakers on the offensive. 
space and time for the cross. And possession lost by the Rossoneri. Victor Ozimhen. Now, counter attacking possibilities here. Poritano. And now Zielinski. Has a go! Well, it's all going so swimmingly for them here. Another goal. And now it's a matter of avoiding any silly mistakes. Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect, but there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. So, 2-0 now. Benassa. Tonali with it. Well, very nearly at the halfway mark. And Milan up against it in this one. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, they've struggled in this first half. They've been out full, outplayed and outrun. They need to improve all aspects of their play in the second half if they're to get back in this one. Superb save. Well, he should score, of course, but that's a brilliant save. Well, this has to be their way back into the game. The crowd are certainly playing their part. Who can they pick out? Ficayo Tomori. Could be threatening. It's still there for him. This looks interesting. A really top-notch piece of defending. And with that, the first half draws to a close. Well, we're highlighting him for a reason, Stuart. He's putting in a really authoritative performance here. Yeah, what a performance he's putting in here. Great movement, lots of energy and a very good finish for his goal. He's been excellent. So into the second half, and really it was a sublime performance by Napoli in the first 45, you've got to say. A running room in the wide position. Politano, a chance to whip it in. Victor Ozimhen. Still could put it away. And a goalkeeper in great form. And he's just pulled off an absolutely stunning save there. That is brilliant. Now sending it in. It didn't happen for them. Zielinski. Surely. And a goal! There he is at the double. They just can't subdue him. Well, as you can see, he beats the defenders so easily with a change of pace, and then it's a decent finish. That's a very good goal, you have to say. Well, 
Well, the ball is moving once more. Napoli dominant, accelerating away from their opponents. Giroud. Teo Hernandez. Benassa. It's with Giroud. Sandro Tonali. On the ball, Salamakers. Giroud. Benassa. A good and fair challenge. Now well, we have 30 minutes to go. And the counter attack is on. Options available. And possession given away. Oliveira Zielinski well they're quite content to knock it around inside their own half Victor Ozimhen and Milan have the ball once more Teo Hernandez Ben Asser. now Giroud Oh, he's left his marker for dead. In position. Oh, that's a goal at the wrong end. Well, it's every defender's nightmare. An own goal here. Well, here's the replay, and just look how close this is. May not have been given in my day, but the technology certainly shown its worth here. There it is, 3-1 the current scoreline here. Well, he could really get at the opposition. Good tackle, it'll be a throw. Well, possibilities inside the box. Lobotka. They've regained possession. Benassa. Good looking ball. And Giroud waits to fire. Not really the ideal clearance. Well, they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity. Well, normally such a multi dimensional player, Olivier Giroud, but really not much to say for himself today. Yeah, I've been really disappointed with him today, Derek. He just hasn't looked himself, but I think it's fair to say he hasn't had great service, has he? Ten minutes to go then. Well, not long to go now, and it's going to take quite the comeback from Milan if they are to turn this around. Well, they've had no defensive game plan today. The forwards haven't pressed the ball, the midfield players have been outnumbered, and there is too much space between the defenders at the back. That's been the problem. Tackling and winning the ball to boot. This might be ideal for the counter. danger here as he runs at them Lobotka Lozano he could pick out a teammate well, totalling up all the stoppages we'll have two additional minutes crossing into the middle and it's come off the keeper able to clear the danger at least for now Diaz Giroud a chance for him to get in behind maybe in it goes it looked as though they were down and out not a bit of it 
What will happen next? Well, here it is again. The ball over the top is an absolute beauty. And the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. So the final whistle and real disappointment for Milan and their supporters around the world. They've lost this game. What did you make of it? Well, Derek, not quite good enough today. Yes, they only lost by one goal, but I never felt they were in control of the game. A frustrating day all round for the coach to think about for the next time.